I just want to have a house and I want to see my husband every night and I want to have dinner with him every night and I want us to wake up together every morning. I'd give anything for that. But that's not going to happen for a long, long time. For you to have the perfect life that you both say you really want, something's got to give, hasn't it? It has, but we both understand that we've got responsibilities in our work. I think if either of us were to give up our careers, um, I think it would put, as much as it would be great to spend every day together, it would really put pressure... On the person that's giving it up? On, yeah, on the individual. I think if I was to personally give up my career, I think I'd become quite bitter, in a way, because I haven't achieved everything I want to achieve. It's the same with me. If I wasn't playing football, then I'd miss walking out in front of 60, 70,000 people and them people being there to watch me kick a football around. I think whatever I do, people are always going to have a go. You know, whether I stay at Man United, they'll say, you know, uh, he should have moved on, he should have done this, should have done that. But then if I go abroad or go somewhere else, you know, uh, they'll turn around and say um, that I've gone for the money and gone for the wrong reasons. I spent the best parts of my life in Manchester doing what I love. When you're coming out of the change room, you're walking down to the tunnel and you're sort of getting a, the buzz and the, the butterflies in the stomach. Not nervousness, but excitement. And then you're uh, walking down the tunnel and you see the, the pitch. And as you're walking nearer to the pitch, you, you know, it rises up and you can see the fans. And you just know that there's 67,000 Man United fans wanting you to win. And that, just that, gives you goosebumps stepping out onto that pitch when you just know that all them people are there to see you play and to see you perform and it's one of the best feelings ever I think with the Man United fans that's one of the things I'd miss most if I did go they'd probably see you know the London lad coming up playing for they're Man United. And they probably see me coming through and think, oh, wait a minute, he's a Londoner, he's, you know, is he a Tottenham fan, Arsenal fan? I've always wanted to play for Man United and I think they knew that. So they've been behind me since, since I first started playing. family are happy then I'll stay where I am and if things go well with the club with the contract but um, you don't know you can never say about that so yeah, I'll have to wait and see what happens over the next few months whether the club talk to me uh, I'll have to wait and see Apparently, I'm in a casino one night and uh, in Manchester and I go up to this machine and put some money in the slot and and uh, down comes a, a can of Coke. So I've put some more money in and down comes a can of Lilt. Then I put some more money in and a can of iced tea comes down and some bloke comes behind me and taps me on the shoulder and says, uh, can I have a go? And I turn around to him innocently and say, can you not see I'm winning? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't believe you're all laughing at these jokes. <laughs> 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 